Hello everybody and welcome back to a new section in our Learning Bootstrap 4 course. Today's section is called Bootstrap for JavaScript Components. And then, as you might have guessed, we will be taking a deeper look at some of the Bootstrap for JavaScript components like modals, popovers, tooltips, carousels, and of course, dropdowns. Now, we will start off by using the Bootstrap for modals, well, where we will learn the basics of using Bootstrap for modals, how to integrate them into our website, but more importantly, how to optimize or and change the modal experience to our liking, and of course, how to use the Bootstrap for uh, modal JavaScript events. So to get us started, uh, let's take a look at a basic example of Bootstrap for modals. So to create a modal, of course, you need the modal HTML itself and you need some kind of a, either a button or some element where you would trigger the actual modal. Of course, you could load the modal as soon as the page loads, but that's, you know, a different story and something more advanced. So for now, let's take a look at what our uh, modal HTML has. So it you have the main div of class modal and fade, and of course you have the ID. In this case, we're calling it test modal. Now the ID is important because that's what you will be targeting when you are defining what a button click does. Next, it's followed by modal dialog and modal content. Now, I would say that these three are really mandatory and you should uh, always include them because imagine that they are core components of a modal. Of course, you could change it, but you know I would advise not to for now. Then we come back to modal header, modal body, and of course, modal footer. So by default in the header, you have uh, the title of the modal and the close button. Now these uh, elements already have uh, some bootstrap styling to make it look nice. And of course the modal body houses all our content. And in this case, it's just two paragraphs of text. Now the beauty of uh, bootstrap modals is that inside of a modal you could essentially use whatever you want uh, that bootstrap has to offer so for example you could use the grid system by adding a container fluid a row and some uh, columns now of course uh, you could use other plugins uh, like tooltips and popovers right inside of a a modal window and at the footer we again have some predefined styling for two buttons one of those is the close button and one of them is a regular button primary uh, that basically mimics uh, a form save element now if we were to run uh, the page right now with this HTML of course we are not going to see the modal we need to trigger it by a specific action so instead of writing a lot of JavaScript uh, bootstrap allows you to add a few tags and let's say add a modal window when you click on this button so to do that what we need to actually do is we need to find the button that we'll be using and we need to add data toggle equals modal and data target equals hashtag test modal. Of course, this is because we named, we gave an ID of test modal to our modal div, and that is why we are using this as the target. So if we were to take a look at how this looks, you would see that we get a nice modal title with the close icon right here then some text that we defined and of course these two buttons at the bottom which uh, if you click on close it will of course close the modal and save changes uh, for now we'll do nothing 
So again, this is a basic example of uh, a modal. Of course, if you need to, you can customize a lot of these things just by using CSS. Now, at the time of recording, there is some kind of a bug here, and Bootstrap is adding 31 pixels of padding to the right, and which is making the whole page flicker a bit. As you can see, it moves left and right. But I assume that will, of course, uh, be fixed. Now, let's say we are interested in modifying our modal to, you know, get the best that we can in some cases. So I decided that instead of having these two, a separate page that we have for registration with these two sections, I would probably want this in a modal window because it could be accessible at any time really fast from any page. So that's why I added these two buttons at the top. Now, if we take a look at what these buttons do, you'll actually see that it has the same structure. So it has data toggle modal, data toggle account modal, and this time we added a new property. Now, in Bootstrap 4, there is a really neat feature that allows you to control what happens inside of the Bootstrap modal just by providing a few data attributes. So in this case, we said data case equals login. And in the case of register, we said register. So as you can see, we're, we're opening the same modal window. We're opening the same code, but we want to make a different layout for each of the cases. Now, if we take a look at our at our code for our count modal that is right here, you'll see we have again the familiar structure of modal, modal dialog, modal content, and now we have some custom code of our own. So as you can see, we kicked out the header and we kicked out the footer. So we don't have them and we don't need them because our design is a bit different. We also wanted to add this custom close button and I already defined the CSS properties or SAS properties of this in uh, modals partial. Of course, I included it in our main layout as CSS. And here I said that I want this to be positioned absolute at the top right corner and Note that we're using our border radius mixing, but this time we're providing 50% uh, as the value, which means if the width and height are 25, the border radius is actually going to be 50% uh, of that, or in translation, it will create a perfect circle. So you could use that always to create uh, a circular design for something that you need. Now, if we get back to our code, you will see that inside of the modal body, we added what we had basically in this page, which was form box and all the HTML for the login and all the HTML for the registration, but with a little twist. So we called the login part div ID login case, and we called the registration process div id register case and of course we set one of those which is the register case to display none now the reason why we we did this is because we are going to use the power of bootstrap 4 modals and the javascript events that they they provide to dynamically show or hide depending on which button you click the content of the modal window. Now, previously in Bootstrap 3, you, you couldn't do this very easily. You would have to write uh, a few more jQuery functions or a few more lines of code, but in Bootstrap 4, it's actually very, very easy. So if we take a look at jQuery site.js, which of course I have included 
at the bottom of our page, uh, you will see that I have this custom bootstrap for uh, JavaScript event. Now these, you have a few of these events and of course you can look at the documentation for all the events on the bootstrap for uh, website and as you can see we have show shown hide and hidden events of course shown is actually when the bootstrap uh, model is visible to the user hidden is when it's completely hidden and show and hide are basically when the process of showing the model has uh, begun so you you could essentially target one of these events to do specific things like maybe make a, an Ajax request or do something uh, similar. So to get back to our code, we are using the show BS modal, which means we want to render the content of this modal before it actually is shown to the user. So what we're doing here is we're saying, okay, we need to know which button did the user click. The reason for that is because we have two buttons. One is login, the other is register. So we want to get that specific button, or to be more precise, we want to get the data attribute called case. And based on that, I'll just remove this. And based on that, we want to do some jQuery functionality. So if the case is register, we want to hide the login case and we want to show the register case. Otherwise, if the case is login, we want to hide the register case and show the login. Now, to show you how this looks like, let's just click on login. And you see that we get a really nice login interface right here in a modal window and here is our custom uh, button to basically close the modal if we wanted to or again open it up if we if we really wanted to or something similar now let's see what happens when i click register so right now it's loaded the register page or the register part of the modal again this is really interesting because we're using the same modal and using the power of Bootstrap 4 modals to change the content of that modal. So here is login. Of course, we could close it, we could do whatever we want. And here is register. And again, it couldn't be simpler and easier to do with Bootstrap 4. We have a really nice interface now for our users uh, to log in.